happy. So, what's coming up next? We have our final founder of our class showcasing their company. Um, they came all the way from Australia. Long way to go. We're still pulling up their the most updated deck, as you can see. We're pretty much working in a uh, library now. So, but without further ado, I'll let him entertain you while you're uh, looking at his uh, updated slides. Jackson from Sam, all the way from Australia. Hi, thank you for coming along. I have a special place in my heart for uh, people who help people come to Silicon Valley because I came two years ago with some Australians and it set me on course and brought me back two years. It gave me reason to work every day, to push myself, because I could actually see a future in which the kind of things I envisioned could become a reality. So this is STEM, my story, my co-founder's story, and how we see us changing the next decade. We all work in the cloud, but it's not easy. We always want for something a bit more, something that would make the work between our teammates easier, and it feels like it should exist. The number of times you've been on an email thread where someone says, can you give me the latest version of the deck? Someone says, yeah, it's in Dropbox. No, no, I did not do it my latest copy. Yeah, here it is, version one dot latest. Oh no, that doesn't have the changes. I'm pretty sure you've all been there. However, as a software developer, we've already solved this, and we've been working like this for 10 plus years. It's grown organically, which means it's a, it's a movement that's it's been efficient in its method. It hasn't, uh, it hasn't been scaled too fast and someone built all these tools. It's actually come out of the, the organic open software movement where people have used the tools that they built for the purpose of the building. And what we have on GitHub these days is, frankly, in my opinion, the most valuable content on the website. An open source network where people can go and get code that saves them tens of thousands of time in engineering cost. For me, it let me build my business for free with my co-founder. We did it over the course of three years. We have hundreds of thousands of lines of code and we don't pay a dollar for what we've used. It changed our lives and we want to give back. Our solution was to build cloud collaboration tools for the place that people are working now. And people have adopted because it's the way to work in today's era, the cloud. If you use Google Drive and Dropbox, it's, it's everywhere. It's in education, it's in work. And people have adopted it because it's pervasive and convenient. With the cloud apps that we've used, we've been working over the last nine months with two users, small medium business, and the open source engineers at universities. They're two very different use cases, but uh, both supported by what we're doing. With the SMB users, we see them coming in as a team, four to five days a week, spending 30 minutes in the app, improving their communication, working better, comparing changes, seeing who did what, logging their changes, working as a team in the cloud. With the engineers that we have, they're already getting use out of other people's open source content. People are designing engineering parts that are already going into open source satellites, and we are beginning to see that that flywheel of efficiency that you get once you get open source content that people are able to build on, that's standardized, that becomes a platform for future innovation. And, you know, once you get these features, that you don't have those threads of, uh, of, of emails where people are going back and forth, you don't go back to your old ways once you're using a, a formal versioning pro team management software. Okay, so our go to market's exciting because the platform that we operate on, Google Drive, is already out there in universities and work everywhere. Google Drive for School sponsors all of the top universities. They're already working in teams in Google Drive. We turn our software on, they don't change how they work, they get all the benefits of our cloud collaboration software. 75% of Fortune 500 companies are already on Dropbox and G Suite, because as I said, it's the efficient way to work today. Ultimately, there's currently 101 billion, uh, 1.1 billion public cloud users, and uh, as the effects of people sharing content with our tools grow, people come to our site and they come for what's there, not for the tools that are there. 
as we start to engage with the public cloud, we unlock more and more information that's already stored out there, growing our network and the content on our site and the value we create for humanity. So we are launching publicly this summer, 2018. As I said, we've been in private theater with our users, and everything is kind of at that, uh, that point where all the, all the hard work's coming together, and we're ready to go public in summer. So if you support what we're doing, if, if what I'm saying kind of resonates with you in the world of Trinipan, you think it should be a thing, please come up and talk to me.